Hello everyone, uh, Sarah's dad here. Uh, so today we're going to learn about my favorite game, which is Run Marco. And uh, you can just look at the Code with Sarah pages and find uh, the section about Run Marco, the Jungle Trouble game. And you can click either on the picture or actually you have to click on this link. So let's click on this link and get to the game. Uh, it takes a little bit to load the game. Uh, meantime, I can tell you that uh, to learn coding, actually, the best thing is to go to classes. So if there are classes offered at your school, I strongly recommend them. Uh, they might seem like kids don't learn much, but just being exposed to the programming concepts is actually great. Uh, but today I'll try to do as best as I can to kind of give you a replacement for those classes. And so let's start today with the Run Marco game. So you can pick the language of your choice. Uh, uh, since we are in US, I picked the uh, US English and just start a game. So uh, I'm going to pick Sofia today as my character, but you can pick Marco as well. And among those games, I think we're going to try to run the Jungle Trouble, as I call it, or the Winter Wonderland. So today we're going to look at Jungle Trouble. So let's click on that. And we have a bunch of levels here. So actually, if you go to displays, there's a small explanation, really, what happened. Uh, so looks like Marco and his friends are on a trip to the pyramids, uh, looks like a Mexican pyramid, and Marco is chasing a butterfly and gets lost in a jungle. And now he needs to find a way back to his friends. So let's see how he can find a way back to his friends. So the first thing is, so there will, you will soon see a path that Marco needs to navigate, or actually Sofia in this case. So First, uh, we need to put the character sheet in and now the actual commands to run. And on the command sheet, there is only one command, step forward. So if we drag it, like essentially the game itself is telling us what to do. So let's just drag the step forward on the script sheet and our script area and push the play button and see what happens. So here, Sophia needs to get from the tile she's on, from the green tile to the yellow tile. So it's easy, she just needs to make one step forward. So let's do that. Perfect. So that was easy. Now let's continue with a few more lessons. So now we need to get again from the green square all the way to the yellow square. So I guess we need to step forward one, two, three, four times. So let's see if it works. Let's actually do just two and see what happens. If I do just two steps, Sophia will jump once, twice, but it didn't make it all the way to the yellow stone or yellow square. So let's add, let's go to the motion sheet again and pick the only command that's there and add two more. And then run the code again. So if I run the code again, Sophia made four steps and ended up on the correct uh, square. So now as you can see the path doesn't go straight. We need to be able to make turns. So let's add the turn command. And what do we need to do? So Sophia is facing to the right, but it, she actually needs to face up. So in order to do that, we need to first turn her left. So if I just press the go button, she turned correctly, but well, okay, so we need to get to the yellow tile. So just turning is not enough. We need to make a few steps. And I think it's kind of hard to tell how many tiles are there, but I think only two steps should be enough. Well, let's see. One, two, three, let's see if we got it, got them all. One, two, oh, okay. We need one more. So let's just drag one more and try again. Perfect. So as you can see, you don't have to get... Okay, so let's add the 
turn right command to the list of commands and okay so Sophia is facing up she needs to face to the right so we need to turn right and as you can see you don't have to get the whole script running or working right away you can try a little bit see how far you get and then add a few more commands and keep working that way keep working incrementally and that's a really good skill to have that's kind of normal in the programming world you just write a little bit, see how your program is working, fix any bugs, and then continue adding more and more. So we're gonna do the same thing with walking through the path. So first we need to turn right and then make one step, another step, another step. So all together three more steps. So one, two, three. So let's see if Sophia can do it. One, two, three, perfect. Okay. In if we want to replay the level, say we want to try it again or you want to show it to your parents, you can certainly do that. Just hit the replay button and try again. And so I'm just going to do it quickly now. Add three more steps forward. And play. And let's move to the next level. Okay, so here it gets a little more complicated, uh, still pretty straightforward, but Sophia needs to make one step forward, another step forward, and then turn left, and then make one, two, three steps, and then turn right, and then make one, two steps to get all the way to the yellow square. So, let's see. So first I need to make two steps forward, That'll bring us here and then turn left. And once we turn left, let's see, one, two, three more steps. One, two, three. And let's test how far we got, if it's working. Perfect, so we got here. So Sophia is facing the wrong way. So first of all, uh, we need to add the right turn. That's good. And then, once Sophia turns, again I can play it, right? So Sophia is facing the right way, just need two more steps. And you should experiment, you know, adding turns where you, in places where you don't need them or adding steps and see what happens if you go too far and essentially play it's a it's a game uh, the whole point is play have fun and while you're doing that learn a little bit of programming a little bit of coding so one more time this time two more steps and everything is great okay so now things <coughs> excuse me uh, things get a little more complicated really the same <coughs> I'm sorry okay mm. so Sophia needs to go again straight turn right make a couple more steps down and then turn left and keep going let's take a look so sometimes it's tricky for uh, young students to figure out which way to turn. So you have to kind of put yourself in Sophia's shoes and see, okay, when I get to this square, which way do I need to turn? So in this case, I need to turn right. I need to turn down. So let's turn right and make two more steps. And then I'll get to this square. And now, uh, if you kind of try to face the same way as Sophia and you need to and you want to face in this case to the right then actually since she's facing down you need to turn to the left so let's turn to the left and then step forward one two three four stop four times okay one two three four let's see if that worked perfect 
Okay, so for the next lesson, uh, for the next level, we're just gonna add one more command to our command sheet. So let's add that, and then... Uh, see, Sophia cannot go forward, there is a bush in her way. So she needs to jump over the bush. And so that's the new command. So I just hit the play button, not much to do. Perfect. So let's see if we can combine now the jumping commands and the walking commands together to get all the way here to the yellow square. You can see we need to here jump over the bush and over here we need to jump over the missing square so that we can get all the way here. So let's try, let's see if we can figure it out. So first of all, so I need to step two steps forward. One, two, to get to the bush and then I need to jump over the bush. So let's do that. So we jump and now we would be here, right before the bridge. So then I make one step to get on the bridge. And then now when I'm on the bridge, I need to jump over the water. So let's just jump forward again and let's see if this works. Jump, walk, jump, perfect but we just need two more steps. So let's add two more steps. One, two, and that should get us all the way to the end. Jump, step, jump, step, step, perfect. Okay, and let's see, you can click here, you can see how many lessons we've accomplished. So we went through eight levels and we have one more level to go today and that's just gonna be combining everything that we learned so far so jumps turns uh, yeah so we got quite far in our abilities to navigate these paths right so over here we can just step forward once need to jump over the rock and then step two more times one two and we are in this corner so in order for us to continue we need to turn left and again so let's see how far we got jump walk turn oh looks like okay perfect so we have a mistake here so I added after the jump we just need one step forward right to get here and Sophia was not happy. She was telling me, hey, wait a second. Are you telling me to go straight, but there is no straight. So I realized the problem, removed this extra step, and now, okay, just make one step forward, turn left, and then make another step. Let's see what happens. Turn, step, okay? And now we just need to jump over the water, continue one, two more steps. Let's do that. So jump and step forward once, twice, and one, two, and that should bring us over here. So let's make a right turn now and step forward. Okay, and then jump, step, step, turn. And now all we have to do is jump over the bush and add one more step. So let's do that. So jump forward over the bush and add one more step and let's see if that was enough. Perfect. Jump step. Yay. So great. So we made all the way to level nine. So we practiced today all the motion commands. So let's take a look at them, what they are. Uh, so if I just replay the level, so you can say the motion commands are step forward, turn left, turn right, and jump forward. And with these commands or with these instructions, we can navigate the path pretty good. Uh, yeah, so in the next lesson, we'll see how, or in the next section, we'll see how we can make our life even easier.